Alaska is sort of like that. You just you, know, you just come around a corner and all of a sudden there it is. You know, this huge white piece of ice in the middle of the mountains. It was really neat. It had that big lake sort oh, yeah. of in the, in the middle of it, which was just some amazing looking. Yeah. If I stopped every place I felt like stopping, I would just never, 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 never get anywhere. Yeah, I would never go home. <laughs> yeah. five kilometers into the Yukon territory where we heard the roads were the worst before we you know hit a big dip in the road and just dragged the oil pan on the ground and tore a big hole in it it's happened once before so every trip we go on we joke around and say like oh did you bring the extra oil pan it's just kind of funny but then <laughs> then it really happened again <laughs> so Right now it takes takes about four to six hours to dry and uh, it's, it's pretty cold here. So we always have a, a few little problems here and there on the road and um, we just pull over and fix it, keep going. All right, so we've, we got it fixed. Let's guess, go. guess we're out of here to White House. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we have this tr new travel blog that we're working on called Fools Be Trippin'. We've sort of bridged this place between our work and being vagabonds that just travel all over the place. We've kind of made work our play and, and vice versa. It was after White Horse. It got dark and the roads got really bad. Those roads were just a different challenge. They were narrow and didn't have any lanes. C couldn't really see the edge of the road. Well, that was a really long day of driving. It was nice to, to get off the road and you know, have a nice quiet evening by the campfire. Yeah. We grew up together in the desert in Las Vegas. We had an old four by four. My dad would take me and, and friends out when I was a little kid. and. You know, we'd sit on his lap and steer the steering wheel, and it was always kind of like a don't tell your mother situation. <laughs> My dad did the same thing with me. I just remember sitting on his lap, driving the car, deep purple Lincoln Grand Marquis. Wow. Yeah, both of our dads are passed away, but I think they really influenced our lives. <laughs> 